Hey, what up, crew? It's your man Argat coming at you with another episode. Uh, this is going to be fresh hit three stars from our last war against Outsiders. Um, really good work this time around. Um, 95, almost 96% total destruction. Um, they didn't even bother with our number one. Uh, their number one dipped and hit two Town Hall 9s. Um, three, four, five, four Town Hall 9 three stars and an 8.5 three star. Uh, missed on one of our 8.5s there and uh, cleaned all the eights. And then we uh, three starred their top Town Hall 10. Hats off to Sheris. Um, Missed three stars there. Maybe four stars on Town Hall 9s. Missed on an 8, two 8s, which is weird for... Well, we've been struggling with the 8s lately. I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, so uh, we'll be running boot camps and things to get uh, get ourselves back on track. So uh, hats off to Sheriff's Fresh hit six packs. Um, one on a Town Hall 10, one on a Town Hall 9. Um but on their top two nonetheless uh taz with a six pack very nice four act six pack one of them a fresh hit uh <clears throat> bad man six pack one of them a fresh hit uh, and uh yeah so we'll start off at the top here with sheris on their number one because uh, this was awesome um <laughs> Level 1 Expos, low level Royals, uh, comes at it with a Govaho. Um, <clears throat> quad Quakes into the core, hits the Town Hall and an Inferno Tower with it, which is perfect. Uh, <clears throat> comes in kind of opposite as Quake, so came in here, I was expecting an entry point here, but comes in this way, drops the jump spell down. Uh, these hogs take out that defense, get the clan castle lore. Um, so CC pull is out, dragon and three balloons. Uh, King goes down. In go the Valks. Still hasn't dropped his queen yet, which is interesting. Or her queen, or their queen. Um, <clears throat> so queen finally goes down. Usually it's the other way around. You do a late king drop, but... Uh, <clears throat> Drops a bit of an early freeze on the Inferno there. Uh, but the drops a rage <clears throat> for the uh, active Inferno. It's done. Uh, Valks have gutted the core of this base. Uh, Infernos are down. Doesn't have any spells left at this point, though. So this, the rest of this is pretty interesting. Um, Queen's still up, full health. Hasn't used the ability yet. Has lost most of his hogs now to spring traps. Only has three left. Um, Valks are being tanky for the queen. Um, <clears throat> hogs managed to get that cannon down. That's probably going to be the last you see of the hogs. Uh, burns the queen's ability here. Has a wizard out here. Pack of wizards up here. So the queen's going to do the work in here. And everything else is going to work their way around to the outside. <clears throat> or work their way around the outside edge of the base. Uh... Nice. So last defense that can do any damage goes down right as the queen goes down. So caught a lucky break there. Um, and that's going to be all she wrote. Four wizards and a Valk are going to make short work of the rest of this. And Sheris brings home the triple. So nice work, Sheris. All right. What else do we got here? Um, do, 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 do. All right, Forak on their number four. Swinging up a spot. Uh, trophy base, <clears throat> Cord Expos, Cord Queen, Cord Clan Castle, uh, Valk Playground. Comes at it with a Queen Walk. Um, puts a wizard down here to set the edge. Sends in some hogs here for this free defense. Probably could have done it with one instead of two, but you know. Uh, pushes the queen this way with the edge set by the wizard. Uh, gets the clan castle lore with his two hogs. <clears throat> and uh, 
drops the poison down for the clan castle dragon, slows him down. Queen has not locked onto the dragon. There she goes. Nope, still on that. He's going to have to burn the ability. Wow, very, very, very last second. That was crazy. Uh, cutting it close there, Forak. <laughs> Give me a heart attack, man. But uh, held on long enough to get it done. Drops the rage down with the uh, level 3 expo locked on. Um, sends the Valks in already, which is interesting. Pops an outside giant bomb. Uh, so Valks are into the compartment. Uh, had set the edge here with the wizard, so the Valks came in this way. Uh, drops the jump and a heal down for him to get into the core. Uh, <clears throat> Clan Castle Hogs come in behind the Valkyries. So he's got his Valks and his Hogs in the same spot. Hogs run through a heal. A <clears throat> uh, ton of stuff going on in the core. Uh, holds that last heal until the very last second. Catches it here. Uh, gets some I'm not sure what he healed there. It looks like his Valks ran through it. Um, so healers are on a golem. His queen is dead. Oh, no, she's not. She's about to die, though. Now she's dead. That was the enemy queen I saw there. Um, so it looks like... Uh, king burns the ability to rip through a wall. Healers on the king, extending his life. Still had a couple hogs left. They came out of nowhere. Um... And the Valks are just going to do the rest of the work on this. So, uh, nice job, Forak, bringing home the triple. Fresh hit. Wasn't pretty, but you got the job done, man. Nice work. <clears throat> Your fearless leader, Blade. Coming at this with a Govaho as well. Comes in, drops the golems down, fans in the wizards behind to set the edge for the Valks. Uh, has a minion out here and out here doing work. Nothing can touch them, which is awesome. Uh, King and the queen go down. Awesome jump spell placement there. Uh, connects him into this compartment and the clan castle and in here. And that might even cover this bit here. Um... <clears throat> Has already started his uh, hog deployment. Clan castle troops have died. Sends in a few hogs here, a few hogs here. Uh, Queen's used the ability, but she has taken the jump and is locked onto the town hall. Uh, heal down for the hogs while they're dealing with the expo and the mortar there. Uh, pretty big pack of hogs there. Um, Queen's just doing her thing. Uh, drops that last heal spell down for the hogs while they're dealing with the uh, wizard tower. <clears throat> so, uh, last few hogs are probably going to... Oh, Queen gets onto that Tesla, steps up, helps take out the cannon. Has one hog left, one Valk, three wizards, but the damage is done. The base is crippled, and Blade brings home the three. Nice work, Blade. Swinging at that 67k Town Hall 9. Badman on number 6. Again, swinging above his weight because he can. Um, <clears throat> another trophy style base. Uh, and another Govaho. Uh, so sends in the two golems here and here. Drops the poison down on the queen, which is awesome. Fans out the wizards behind. Wall breakers in, they walk right into a mortar shot. Time your wall breakers better, Blade. Shame on you. <laughs> CC wall breakers do the same thing. Come on, buddy. Get it together. Uh, but drops the poison down for the clan castle troops. Uh, Queen's locked on. Valks are coming in. Jump spells down. Uh, drops a heal down for his Valks, uh, which is almost completely wasted. <laughs> Man, don't know how you pull it off, Blade, but you managed to get it done. Uh, so send some hogs in up the gut here, and then the remaining hogs on to this side. Uh, still has Valks alive up over this way. Drops a heal spell down, catching both the Valkyries and the hogs. 
over a giant bomb and a wizard tower, which is perfect. Uh, <clears throat> immediately drops his last heal spell right after that, catches a bit of overlap. Uh, too many things to shoot at, way too many hogs left. Holy cow. So given the rocky start, man, it just looks like you just absolutely wrecked this base. Uh, <laughs> but um, there it is. Nice work, bad man. He is a bad man. All right. <clears throat> uh, what else do we got here? Uh, that was a Town Hall 8. Thanks to Decanter for dropping down and popping that 8 and getting the cleanup work done. Um, let's see if Carter hit a 9 with this. He sure did. Um, this base gave us a lot of trouble, if I recall correctly. Um, maybe that was a different war. I don't know. Um, so, oh, Gola Loon, very nice. Uh, so comes in, drops the golem down, setting the edge with the wizards, sorta. This king's probably gonna walk. Yep. Queen's going up the gut, though, so that's good. Uh, need her to hit these air defenses. Uh, drops the poison down for the... Clan Castle kill, there it is. Um... <clears throat> So Queen's dealing with the dragon still, who's moved out of the poison. Loses his queen, but the dragon goes down. Um, are those wizards going to take care of that air defense? No, they're not. So missed on one air defense. Hounds have come in, targeted loons. Hound in here, more targeted loons. Last hound comes in on this side with some extra loons behind. Soaking up all of those traps. Um, <clears throat> so the hounds have all popped. Nope, still has... There's the last hound pop. Um, wizard tower down. Going to have to crush through that Tesla farm. Oops. Um, drop this loon here for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, just because. Uh, but I like the pups up here on the north side. You're going to power through all these defenses just those balloons and you have two wizard towers left to deal with. How does that happen? With a rage spell! Very nice, Carter. Uh, so, <clears throat> pups have done the cleanup around here, got a split on the loons on this side. Um, and they're just gonna come back up and around this way and meet up with the pups. And Carter's gonna get a triple with a Gola loon. Very nice job, Carter. Excellent, excellent work, man. Well, that base didn't give us trouble. That was a fresh hit. I'm thinking of a different base. <laughs> so we struggled with a similar base to this uh, in our current war, I think. Um, I'd have to look at it again. But uh, nice job, Carter, man. Uh, awesome work with the Gola Loon. So that's going to do it for this episode. Um, I'll be back with some Town Hall 8 stuff, maybe. Maybe. Um, and uh, I'll probably do a What Happened episode as well, because we had plenty of cleanup triples in this one too. So until then, that's going to do it for me. Thanks for watching everybody. I'm out.